Hi, I'm Chef Bonnie Friesen from Fosben Company Catering, and today I'm going to show you how to cook a delicious roast goose. This is a classic dish for the holiday season, but a roast goose is something that you could cook any time of the year. So today we're going to score the skin, and I'm going to create a Chinese five spice rub with some orange and lemon citrus, and we're just going to rub it all over, and it's going to give this goose a lot of flavor. So to start off, I'm just going to zest one lemon and one orange. The citrus really helps to brighten up the richness of the goose. orange as well. Okay, so I'm just going to muddle the citrus together with our Chinese five spice. And I'm going to use a mortar and pestle for this. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can just mix this together in the bowl, but I'm just going to do this to really draw out a lot of the flavors in the citrus and the spices. So I have here just uh, Chinese five spice. So Chinese five spice is a combination of cinnamon, cloves, fennel, anise, and Szechuan peppers. All of those delicious spices that are perfect for the winter season. So I'm just gonna grind about four tablespoons into this mortar and pestle. Okay, and to this I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of sea salt and a little bit of black pepper. And I'm just going to muddle this together. just almost into a paste. It smells amazing. Okay. Now that that's ready to go, I'm ready to score our goose. So just starting on the breast side, I'm just gonna score some fine incisions on an angle. And here you just wanna make sure you're just cutting through the skin, not so deep as you're going into the flesh. And this is just gonna help render out all that fat. Okay, beautiful. Now we're just gonna rub this goose all over with these delicious spices and citrus. Just really want to massage it in there. This is a step up to this point that you could definitely do the night before. And that would help to give it even more flavor. But today I'm just going to give it a good rub and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Okay, so once your goose has sat for a little bit with those, all those flavors, last thing is I'm just gonna stuff it with this lemon and orange that we zested earlier. Put that right inside the cavity. And I've preheated the oven to 480 degrees. We're gonna keep it at that temperature for about 15 minutes just to give it a good sear before reducing the temperature to 350 degrees. For a total, I'm gonna cook the goose for an hour and 20 minutes. Our goose has been in the oven for 50 minutes. I'm just gonna take it out, see how it looks. We're gonna drizzle it with a little bit of honey just to caramelize the crust. And I'm just gonna pull the legs away from the goose just to even out the cooking time. So let's go see how it is. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's got just such a beautiful golden crust right now. That looks awesome. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of honey and drizzle it over the whole thing to give it some really nice sweetness and caramelization. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut right into the leg meat there, just to pull it away from the body of the goose, just so it can catch up to the cooking time of the goose breast. And we'll pop it back in for 30 minutes. So our goose has been in the oven for about a total of an hour and 20 minutes, so it should be good to go. Let's take it out of the oven. That color is just fantastic. And you can really smell all the citrus that's really coming through. So what we're looking for here is just for the juices to be running clear um, and the meat just slowly pulling away from the bone. But before we carve into this, one of the most important steps in roasting any bird is to really let it rest. I'm going to let this bird rest for 30 minutes because it's almost 5 kilos. And that's just going to make it a lot easier to slice into and keep it really moist and flavorful. So we just want to loosely cover it here. We don't want it to sweat at all. We want to keep the crispy skin, but just enough to keep that, keep it from cooling down too quickly. Perfect, okay. So we'll let that rest. Okay, so our goose has been resting for 30 minutes. So let's unwrap it from the foil and get carving. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take the wing bones off. And you can just see where the joint naturally separates from the body. Just have to peel back that leg and find the joint and then it comes off really easily. And once that's all good, we can start cutting into the breast. So a goose breast is a lot thinner than uh, say a turkey, so you need to cut it very thinly. You just want to shave it at starting at the neck at about a 90 degree angle to the bone. Okay, here we have our perfect five spice roasted goose, perfect for the holiday season. Thanks so much for joining me.